everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video we're going to learn how to make this santa claus coaster now this is a very versatile piece you can use it in your christmas decoration also as your christmas tree ornament and it is so quick to make you can just you can make one in just 15 minutes now without wasting any further time let's get right into the video so we're going to start off by making a magic ring for that we're going to make an x on our fingers like this and we're going to make a magic ring after making a magic ring we're going to chain two and we're going to make double crochets 15 times in this magic ring so this chain two is not going to be counted as our first double crochet that is just our starting stitch and now we make 15 double crochets in this magic ring so this is one oops two so once you start making your stitches you can just pull the string a little bit to make the uh, ring uh, narrow and this is going to help you in making your stitches more easily three four so i'm just going to make my 15 double crochets and i'll see you once i'm done now you can see that i'm done making my 15 double crochets now i'm just going to pull the string to make the ring narrower and now you see we we've got no gaps in between our circle you can pull it as tight as you need to close the gap now we're going to make a slip stitch but remember we had to make a slip stitch on top of the first double crochet that we made and not in the first chain two so this is our first row with 15 double crochets now for our second row we're going to chain two and we're going to make one double crochet in the same stitch we'll make another double crochet in the same stitch now in the next stitch we're going to make two double crochets one and two in the next stitch we're going to make two more double crochets row two is going to be two double crochets in each stitch so we're going to have a total of 30 double crochets So I'm just going to continue making my double crochets and I'll see you once I'm done with my 30 double crochets. We're done making our 30 double crochets here and now we're going to make a slip knot. Sorry, a slip stitch. And remember that we don't have to make a slip stitch in this row, uh, chain two, but we have to make a slip stitch in the very first double crochet that we have made in our second row. So this closes our round and we have got 30 double crochets in our second row. Now moving on to our third row, we're going to chain two. This chain two is not counted as any stitch. This is just a starting stitch. And now we're going to make one double crochet in the same stitch. Now in the next stitch, we're going to make two double crochets. In the next stitch, we're going to make one double crochet. In the next stitch, again, we're going to make two double crochets. One double crochet in the next stitch. Again, in the next stitch, we're going to make two double crochets. So our row three is going to be two double crochets in the alternate stitches. So when we are done with our third row, we're going to have a total of 45 double crochets. 
Now I'm just going to continue making my double crochets and I'll see you once I'm done. So I'm done with my 45 stitches and I'm going to make a slip stitch in the very first double crochet that we had made. So this uh, finishes off our third row and moving on to our fourth row we're going to chain two and I'm going to make one double crochet in the same stitch. We're not going to count that chain two as any stitch. In the next stitch we're going to make one double crochet again. Now in the next stitch we're going to make two double crochets in the same stitch. One and a two. Now in the next stitch, I'm going to make one double crochet. In the next stitch again, just one double crochet. And in the next stitch, I'm going to make two double crochets in the same stitch. So our row four is going to be uh, two double crochets in every third stitch. And we're going to have a total of 60 stitches in this row. So I'm just going to continue making my 60 stitches and I'll see you once I'm done. So here I'm done with my 60 stitches and if you've properly followed the pattern you should end with two uh, double crochets in one stitch. And now I'm going to make a slip stitch in the very first stitch that we made and we're going to complete our row 4. After completing our row 4, we're going to start off by making the beard. For that, we're going to chain 1 and we're going to make a single crochet in the same stitch. Like in the next stitch. Once we're done making our single crochet, we're going to skip that next stitch. And in the next stitch, we're going to make one double crochet. And we're going to make four more double crochets in the same stitch so in total we'll have five double crochets in that stitch so oops. yeah this is our third one fourth and one more fifth After making five double crochets in the same stitch, we're going to skip the next stitch and in the next stitch, we're going to make one single crochet. You see, we've made this uh, shell stitch over here. Now again, we're going to make one more sh uh, shell stitch. For that, we're going to skip this chain and in the next chain, we're going to make five double crochets one two three four and five after making five double crochets in the same stitch we're going to skip the next stitch and in the next stitch we're going to make a one single crochet we're going to continue doing this we're going to repeat these stitches and we're going to have a total of 12 such sets so we have already done two we're going to make 10 more sets like this so i'll just do one more with you and then i'll see you after making 12. i'll just do one more with you guys so that you can follow the pattern properly so four and five after making five we're going to skip one stitch and in the next stitch one single crochet so i've made three and i'm going to make nine more i'll make a total of 12 such stitches such uh, shell stitches and i'll see you once i'm done so here as you can see we have we have done making our 12 sets of shell stitches and if you follow the pattern properly you'll be left with nine stitches over here and now we're going to start making the hat for our santa claus we're going to insert our hook in the very first stitch we're going to take our right yarn and we're going to 
pull through that loop now we're going to chain one and make one single crochet in that same stitch now in the next stitch we're going to make one single crochet in the next stitch one single crochet again now we're going to keep making single crochets till we reach the last two stitches in the last two stitches we're going to make one single crochet each in the stitch but we are going to crochet them together I'll show you how and this one so we're left with two stitches one and two the eighth and ninth stitch and we're going to crochet uh, our single st crochet stitches together so we're going to pull through the yarn and we won't be pulling through both the loops we are again going to go in the next stitch and pull through the yarn now we are left with three stitches on our loop a hook we're going to yarn over and pull through all the three stitches now you can see we've made the base of our hat now we're going to chain one turn around our work and in the very next stitch we're going to make one single crochet now again we're going to keep making one single crochets here till we reach the last two stitches and we're going to follow the same method we're going to make one single crochet each in the last two stitches as well but we're going to crochet them together and we're going to do this till we reach the peak now you see there are only two stitches left here we're going to crochet them together again we're going to chain one turn around our work one single crochet in each stitch so by crocheting two single crochets together we are actually creating a decrease one again you can see we are left with two stitches at the end of our row we're going to crochet them together one and two we're going to pull through again chain one turn around our work one single crochet in all the stitches leaving a two stitches at the end now you see we have two stitches we're going to crochet them together just like this again we're going to chain one and we're going to turn around our work one two three and we're left with two stitches we're going to crochet them together one and two we're left with three loops and a hook crochet them together chain one turn around our work we're left with four uh, stitches we're going to make one two two stitches and then we'll be left with two stitches uh, over there and we're going to crochet them together again now once this row is done we're going to turn around our work and you can see that we're only left with three stitches over here now we're going to we're going to make a single crochet together in the three stitches so i'm going to do this oh i forgot i forgot to chain one wait I'm going to chain one and then turn around our work and now I'm going to make three single crochets crocheted all together so in the end we'll have four loops on a hook we're going to crochet them all together and we're going to chain one after that we're going to just cut off the yarn and sew in all the ends and this is how our coaster should look like i'm also going to make one uh, small pom-pom for our hat i'm going to make it with white yarn for the pom-pom part we're going to make a 
um, magic ring again after making a magic ring we're going to chain one and we're going to make six single crochets in that magic ring so oops. this is one let me just pull that loop one two three four five and a six after making our six single crochets we're going to pull that loop tight so that all there is no gap in between and in the very first uh, single crochet that we made we are going to make a slip stitch like this we're going to cut, cut off the yarn and sew in the ends and this is our tiny little pom-pom that we're going to attach to the hat once done your santa claus coaster should somewhat look like this thank you for watching my video if you do like my video please give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel for more such videos happy crocheting